Usually my mom or Charlie will drive me to the readings, but today is very different because the client ordered a town car to pick me up. The second I got into this car, I immediately felt the unique and intense energy coming through. I found myself scribbling a circle, and usually I'm used to scribbling lines. That usually indicates the person coming through is insistent that I talk about a specific area, almost so much so that they're circling it. What is it you're getting from here? Um, and it's actually been really interesting because there is a reference immediately to an investigation, and there's an emphasis on the fact that this would have made the news. It would have been a death that would have been heavily controversial and very there were a lot of questions about what happened in these final moments. And hopefully, in the reading today, I'll be able to kind of answer some of those questions. Oh, hi. I'm Janice. Hi, Janice. How are you? Extraordinaire. Oh my gosh, it's Welcome great to, to my you. home. Thank you for having Come me. Are my you, home. You're Janice Dickens? I am. I just, I. That's awesome. Oh Thank my God, you. It's so great to meet you. Please sit down oh. on the couch. Perfect. My name is Janice Dickinson. For those of you that don't know me, I have been on the covers of Vogue, Bizarre, Cosmopolitan. I was the world's first supermodel, and I've worked on America's Next Top Model. I did Botched on E, and I loved it. Hello. I finally recognize someone. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> You're just a cutie patootie. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Mr. Tyler Henry comes highly recommended. And I can't wait to be read because I've never done it before. And I've done everything from jumping out of airplanes, helicopters. I'm fearless. Well, I'm a little virginized to this medium oh stuff. My. I primarily work as a clairvoyant. Um, now, the less I know about you, the better. I know your name, funny enough. I. <laughs> You'd have to be living under a rock so not funny. to, sorry. <laughs> of course. So I do recognize your name, but I don't know anything about family or anything along those lines. So I'll just kind of pick up on what I feel. I've just been through the fight of my life. I've come out successfully from a cancer operation, and I'd like to know if I'm going to maybe have it come back. I don't know. Um, sometimes holding onto an object actually can help me make a closer connection to a person. Um, now, what I'm going to do is, you know what? No, you have. There's. A, I have to talk. I have to, I'm referencing to a piece of fabric. <laughs> I have to hold onto a piece of fabric, so let me see. Do you have anything like fabric in there that I could hold on to by chance? You're really psyched. I feel like I have to <laughs> hold on to that one. Thank you. I feel like this is strange. Um, I do have to talk about a man that would be coming through who's acknowledging that he would have lived to basically see around middle age and he's snapping his fingers at me. And when they do that, they reference passing away quickly. This is the kind of guy that, like, in life, like, he's just, like, a big personality. Like, this is not somebody who we would ever anticipate just passing away out of nowhere. You're dead on. So he's having me immediately talk about the circumstances of his passing. He's showing me cameras. When they do this, this usually indicates a reference to a passing or a death being very well known or, like, notable and, like, You're people know about this, but on, like, a larger scale. Blowing my mind. Yeah, because I'm referencing to, like, I'm saying news. Oh, yes, indeed. World okay. news. World news, okay. Why is he putting me in a plane? He's bringing up having to take a trip on a plane. Um, Someone was on a vacation around the time he died. He's showing me a vacation. This is weird. He's oh. showing me being on vacation. Oh my gosh. I don't yes. know what this is. Yes. What? Yes. Yeah. Can what I tell that? you? Tell me. Yeah. I was on vacation. Wow. I was in the Bahamas. Right. Like I, I'm saying. On a tropical. shoot for American Bazaar. Right. Because I'm saying tropical. Like this looks really like completely different from where I would normally be. Oh, and they yeah. talk about having to get on a plane and there's no, a no, no. Of I the was. Flight. Wow. Yeah. I you're you're dead on. Yeah. I have chills. Right. I have chills on my chills. <laughs> I was on a bathing suit shoot, and I was in the Bahamas. And I heard over the news, and I just collapsed. He died far too soon. He was middle aged, and he was very famous, which Tyler mentioned. He was nailing it on the spot. And he kept saying, I feel a plane, you know? And that was me with an inability to step on the plane to go to his funeral. He's bringing me the last um, 24 hours of his life. And this is weird in the way this comes through because he's talking about the way that he would have been found. Discovered. Yes. But there's this feeling of like, 
Oh, it's not the way that I want to be seen. There's a reference to someone having either a fall or a trip, but they yep. I find them on the ground. Like I yes, run, yes, you know, like, yes, yes. But it's a, like a fall. Yes. And I feel like I, I had yeah. And he just basically apologizes for, for this because he, the man had a lot of dignity, a lot of pride, but he doesn't want all the question marks around his passing to really define his life. And that was very important for him. He didn't want that death to ultimately be what everyone associates with him. Okay, thank you. Would you just Jimmy. say? The name Jimmy just came through, and I need to bring this up. Who's Jimmy? It's John. Oh, Jimmy. <laughs> That's his through. brother. That would be fine. They oftentimes will refer to either who they are or who they're with, but I have to talk about Jimmy. So Jimmy is his brother? Yeah. Who is this person? Oh, wow. John Bellucci. Wow. OK. He overdosed, being embarrassed about being found. Right. The Chateau Marmont. Oh. I was away mm. on vacation, like you wrote, scribbled, or whatever came to you. Right. He gave me this scarf, like, that was sitting in the back of his car one day that belonged to him, and he just says, here, have it, because it'll look cute on you. I stole it from wardrobe, <laughs> because he was on Saturday Night Live. Right. But one of the funniest, most talented men, and he was my dear friend. You nailed it. Wow. Wow. He wasn't a junkie. He died of a speedball administered him by some female drug dealer. Right. And that's why I know he, do he didn't want to be remembered by that because that was not his legacy. No. That was an accident. I'll never let that go, oh. you know? You know, it's just, it is just meant so much to me. That blew my mind. And now I feel comforted. I feel comforted now that he is at peace. Oh my God. He's with you. <laughs> okay, what do you want next? Okay, well, let's see. And the bell. <laughs> All right. Okay. Just got placed in a bed. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I have a woman coming through that I need to highlight, but she's immediately having me acknowledge, like, very clearly that this was a long, drawn-out process for her. This is not something that happens quick. This is a passing that's more extended. And I have to bring this up. And she comes through not only for you, but for your sister as well. So I'm thinking probably there's a family connection here. But she's having me acknowledge this feeling of like, I don't want to be in any pain. And she comes through and she acknowledges total peace in being able to pass away because I don't want to be in pain. <laughs> it was my mother's. Oh, I'm so sorry. She held on until two years. Yeah. You know, she was just holding on and holding on and holding on, right. you know? And I'm like, what are you holding on to? Yeah. Because you've done everything. She had that by her bed when she would ring it when she needed things. It makes sense. Wow. So, yeah. So there was this feeling of kind of being stationary, and, and she basically came through and acknowledged, like, I feel OK to pass, because she needed to know that it was all right. And it was. It's OK. Absolutely. That got me really emotional. I instantly thought about the last time that I spoke to her. I said, Mom, what are you hanging on for? I love you. I need you to be at peace. Because she was really in a lot of pain. This is coming from the soul. I'm so happy. And I thought I resolved this because, yeah. but these are bringing up a just lot. unresolved emotions in me that I didn't think, it, you know, yeah, I, you know I think I'm so over things and I'm sure. resolved. If I, yeah. I guess I'm just a little, you know, my inner child is coming out. Oh, good. Let me see where we're at. We've got you, you and you. OK, so we've got this, this, and this. I'm going to try a different object now, if you have any oh, yeah. you're curious about. Yeah. OK, well. All right. I'll be very careful with that. Perfect. OK. Um, I have to talk about your sister. Hmm. Because um, the emphasis, I have to immediately talk to you about a grandmother figure that I want to highlight. And she comes through like that. And she talks about you and your sister and references oh to passing. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my I God. Give it in increments. Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> so she's having me acknowledge this in referencing to this being passed down. And she was like very particular in who got this. Yeah. <laughs> 
You just nailed it in two seconds. <laughs> my sister, like I stole it from my sister because it belonged <laughs> to our grandmother. Yeah. I am not kidding you. I, I, you don't even have to get into the Shaka Khan's your dr tic tac toe <laughs> stuff. You're, you're writing. This actually belonged to my grandmother. Wow. And then my sister stole it. And you got it back. <laughs> and I grabbed it when she wasn't looking. It's hilarious, because your grandmother's very aware of this. She knows it was passed down. Does she down. know it? She knows. She, she knows. That's why she had me bring it for your sister, because you took it. How, but how did you do it so fast? <laughs> well, I'm psychic. What do you feel when you get it's, psychically, like, it's, it's just tuned like, in, man? Because I could go to Cartier and get psyched out, you know, picking up a big-ass diamond. <laughs> but no, I mean, I just kind of get impressions. So she's definitely coming through. There's more. Are you ready? Hit me, bitch. Okay. All right. <laughs> Hit me! I just want it to be known that it's important. She has me reference to your mother, so she's definitely coming through as well. My mother is there. Correct. Okay. And she's having me immediately talk about the woman who would have dealt with the breast cancer. She's acknowledging overcoming this, getting me. through it. Right now. Wow. I just overcame breast cancer. I don't really want to go tragically since I just came out of um, sure. six weeks of radiation on ductile one stage one breast cancer myself. Yeah. There's this feeling in the way this comes through from her end. Please know that you do not have to worry moving forward about this being a concern. It's her number one priority that you know you are completely fine. There's nothing to worry about. They've been with you through this. I know. Well, they know, and they've been able to see what you've gone through, and they're with you every single day. Yes. <sighs> the fact that my mother and my grandmother have been with me the whole time, I feel so relieved and happy just to know that, like, there's something to this, that, that they're with me, you know? And, and I just, I, I feel so blessed and at ease. Well, I'm so happy that now moving forward, you're perfectly yes. fine. I'm not worried. Oh, thank you. I really believe oh. that. So. <sighs> I can only handle so much at a time. Uh, it's OK. I understand. <sighs> Every single object you connected with. Yeah. And I, 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 you know, it's very seldom that you see Janice Dickinson <laughs> gobstruck. <laughs> no. You are the real deal. I'm so You glad. are going to help so many people in life. Thank you. That's the goal. Your mom raised you oh, well. You are the best. Oh, no, thank, thank you so you. much. So now so get the so out of here. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much. No! Oh. Thank you! Are you kidding me? Oh. I want to. I want to. Janice Dickinson is on a couch with me. This That's is... so nice to meet such a young medium. <laughs> I feel centered, and something's been lifted from my soul that has been weighing me down. I feel relief from some of these things, especially hearing from my mom and about my, my grandmother, and that I'm going to be OK with my cancer. I've always wondered about unresolved issues and how they affect the psyche and how they affect the heart. But knowing full well that Tyler is exactly who he says he is and he's authentic has really helped me out so much. I mean, there is something to this medium stuff.